uh, Mary Stop, Executive Director of Pep Housing. Uh, we do support a special tax per parcel, but certainly don't support a a charge per unit. Um, we we found it unusual that we weren't informed of this meeting, especially since um, Director Kai's. Uh, letter called out only two projects, which was Grady Ranch and the Marin Wood Plaza Bridge Project. We pay parcels currently for our properties. We've never paid a unit tax. It's highly unusual to be proposing a unit tax. The, this proposed change appears to be directed to the Grady Ranch project as outlined in uh, Director Kai's letter, calling out the Grady Ranch project and the Marin Wood Plaza Bridge project, both affordable housing projects. Parcel tax is a form of property tax assessed at a rate based on the characteristics of a parcel rather than the assessed value of the property, which is a standard method of levying property tax. It's a parcel tax, not a unit tax. The proposed change is not equitable because the impact of a park, open space, and street landscape maintenance for a one-bedroom senior apartment is much more than a single-family four- or five-bedroom apartment. You mentioned something about the senior exemption. We're going to have 104 units of senior housing. Do the senior homeowners get exempted, but the senior renters have to pay for that's this? A, that's a whole other set of issues that we'll have to look at. Uh, the Skywalker property has already dedicated 800 acres of this property as open space, and we're developing and maintaining additional park at Grady Ranch. Much of the open space that Skywalker Properties has donated is used by the general public. The project, not Skywalker Properties, will have to pay the cost. An affordable housing project cannot afford to pay $42,000 a year for park maintenance. The proposal to levy a tax that results in grossly disproportionate assessments between single-family residents and multifamily project that this proposal would do is really a thinly veiled attempt to impose a tax based upon value rather than legitimate factors. Parcel taxes based upon value of property are invalid as a violation of Proposition 13's limits on ad valorem property taxes. See the California Constitution. There also may be a Federal Housing Act violation, Title VIII, with this proposal due to disparate impact. We're requesting that if you move forward with a tax per unit, you exempt affordable housing or you change the tax back to what it should be is a parcel tax, not a unit tax, in keeping with the definition of what a parcel tax actually is. Thank you. Thank you. Um.